Okay, so I'm going to begin the work on the um, Ghostbusters Ecto-1A. Got the body here. Nice, it's pretty large. Interior tub and the chassis. It's all molded in one piece. There's no engine. So it's just uh, molded on the bottom here. So I'll be painting that black and in detail painting the rest. I'm going to do the interior tub probably in a light gray. Of course, this will be done in white primer and then a gloss white. I'm Rust-Oleum 2X. Got the deco the um, chrome tree here, and then one, another bag of the clear and some red tail lights. Another bag of parts that's for the roof rack. All the stuff, gizmos and things go on the roof rack. The seats, uh, steering wheel there, wheel backs, and so on. So I'm gonna get everything out. It's sort of an ivory color. It's not exactly white. It might look white on the video here, but it's sort of an ivory color, creamy color. Um, so that's fine. I'm going to wash everything up, clean it up, get it ready for primer, and then uh, we'll return with some progress. Okay, well I'm back with a quick update on my Ghostbusters Ecto-1A build. Unfortunately, the body, I had it primed in white primer, and then I shot some Rust-Oleum gloss white over it. And I must have had a defective can or something. It's it came out all uh, splotchy, so it's in the purple pond. Well, it's in the degreaser pond. I'm trying to get the paint off to redo that. Meantime, I've painted all the bits and bobs that go on the gear rack on the roof. Mostly all hand painted. Uh, I think the only thing that was airbrushed is the red, which you see in red there. Um, everything else was hand painted. There's the instructions. Got the interior done. It's a little different than the instructions. I just add some contrast and some colors. Took some sharpie markers there and just did uh, some of the dials and gauges and things to add some interest. So I uh, got everything coated in future and uh, once everything's dry I'll be able to start putting things together. Stay tuned for further updates. Well, here I am with the uh, Ghostbusters Ecto-1A car body. When I put the Rust-Oleum 2X uh, gloss white uh, sprayed on, it came out very pebbly, a very rough texture. So uh, that unfortunately ruined the paint job. And uh, so it's been soaking in this uh, plastic toolbox. And LA's totally awesome all-purpose concentrated cleaner and degreaser for five or six days. Uh, and I just, I'll take it in and uh, Wash it, wash it off and, and take the paint off. So the car body's been soaking in the LA uh, Totally Awesome degreaser for a few days. And I brought it in here in this plastic tub just with some warm water and a stiff toothbrush and uh, just brushed it off. The paint went back into a, like a milky liquid and just uh, washed right off. So the car's body's back to a naked styrene again. I'll let that clean off and dry up and then we'll be able to uh, carry on with uh, second attempt at painting it in the gloss white if the paint is working well. Otherwise I'll use the flat white primer and some future to shine it up. Well, I'm back with a quick update on my uh, Ghostbusters Ecto-1A build. I've got the uh, interior all done. Dash is in, the steering wheel, the phone. I took some liberties. The phone is supposed to be black but I painted it red just so it would be visible. I did some uh, detail painting just uh, with some markers on the consoles there to add some uh, color to the consoles to add some buttons and so on. I've got all the gear on the roof rack all painted and glued on ready to go on the car body. I just did the uh, lights there with sharpie markers. That's all set to go. Another couple of sets of light bars. I've got the uh, tail lights into the back bumper. I've got the decals on got the uh, side marker lights, side sign lights there, their decals, and I've got the body in uh, white primer. As you saw, I stripped it all off. I've got it back into white primer again, and the the uh, gloss white uh, Rust-Oleum spray can I have is, is defective. It's not spraying properly at all. It sprays out almost like sand, <laughs> so it's uh, probably going to be white primer with some future on it. Uh, the only thing holding me back now is just uh, give this a day or so to dry and then I'll start assembling all these parts onto it and finish up with the decals. Oh, and I've got the, um, you may have seen already, I've got the fins in the Aztec red. 
and I'll be painting the stripe on the side of the car as well.